Hello and welcome to this painting video where I show you how to paint a misty lake and tree reflections in watercolor. All the supplies I'm using are listed in the description. The watercolors I'm using are from the Daniel Smith introductory set, which includes a warm and cool version of each of the primary colors. And I'm pre-mixing all of the tones that I want before I start the painting. That's because I don't want to spend time mixing while my paper is wet because this is um, a painting that has to be done wet and wet to get the very soft blurry effect. So once I have all of my paints mixed, I just fully wet my paper. I'm wiping off the edges of the tape so it doesn't bead up and spill back onto the paper. And I'm starting with phthalo blue. And I'm just barely touching along the paper. I add a little water to bring it just trying to create that look, soft, misty look, trees. I have a very dirty jar of water there. As you can see, I'm mostly using the clean water to continue with the painting so I don't muddy up the colors too much. This green I'm using is a mix of Thalo Blue and New Gamboge. The New Gamboge is the warm yellow, making a nice soft green color. Now going into the pure New Gamboge to paint the water. And I'm painting it just in strokes in the same direction as the reflections will be. And I'm leaving a space there of white for the highlight of the reflection on the lake. It takes a lot of maintenance just to lift and soften and and wipe off my brush using a fairly clean and fairly damp brush. I'm just continuing to blot it up a bit with my brush as it starts to dry and spread because I don't want the paint to spread into the white area too much. While the paper's still wet, I'm going into that really dark green color that I mixed and just dotting it in the corners. It will look like the trees behind the mist. Now the timing on this is really important. My paper is still damp, but not really wet. It's just the right dampness to create this effect of the reflection of the trees on the water. The lines stay, but they blur out just slightly. And if you're just starting out, I really suggest doing it on a smaller scale like this. If you had to manage damp paper on a really large sheet of paper, it would be, it just makes it that much, that much harder. Full disclosure, this is my third attempt of trying this painting. It's very deceptively simple. Once I understood the level of dampness that I needed for each step became easier, but there was some trial and error before I figured that out. It was also a little strange painting the reflections before the trees, but to get the effect that I wanted in the easiest way possible, I found this to be the, the best way to go about it. Now I'm taking my clean damp brush and just going across those lines 
all in the same direction and I'm leaving a space in between each of those strokes and it'll make it look more like the ripples of the water. reference photo as a guide. After each time I drag it across, I wipe off the excess paint so I don't reintroduce it back onto the painting. paper is still damp and I'm going to work on that little hilly area in the background. I'm starting with the dark green and just dotting it around a little bit randomly and then going into my yellow. And because this is wet, the green and the yellow will blend it, give it a little bit of dimension and a little uh, softness as they blend together. And then at the bottom of the hill where I want it to really soften, I'm again taking the damp brush and just managing that transition a bit between the hill and the water. Doing a little bit of lifting of the pigment. Using a little bit of clean water and just dampening it along the top of the hill. It'll add a little bit of blooms and texture. And it'll also make where the trees meet the hill a little bit softer. My paper is even drier now. It's still not completely dry. It's a bit damp, but I definitely wanted these tree trunks to be slightly soft. And I'm also being careful to make sure they match the reflections that they're casting. And then using my detail brush, I'm just randomly dotting around that that trunk to make it look like pine branches. I'm taking a clean paper towel and I'm just blotting up here and there it makes it look like the trees are sort of in and out of the mist it gives it a little bit more of a realistic and dimensional effect I'm just speeding up the footage a bit here
now the paper is dry and I'm going in for my final step of painting those little ducks on the water. Just sketching out the little shapes first. I'm going to simplify for my reference photo and just, just use um, two ducks in the painting. I'm using that same dark green to paint the silhouette. And with the same color, but a little bit more watered down, I'm going to paint the reflections, just being really careful to try to make it look like a mirror image of the first shape. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you found it valuable, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. You can also click the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a new painting video in watercolor, acrylic, colored pencil, and mixed media. If you have any questions about this painting or any painting process in general, please leave a comment below and I will definitely answer your questions. And also please let me know what you would like to see me paint next time. Thanks again for joining me. See you next time.